yeast mediated assembly has simplified the process of genetic cloning and has allowed scientists to move away from restriction enzyme based cloning methods in favor of simpler PCR based methods. Using four template plasmids with specific regions of interest, primers are designed to amplify specific genes to produce PCR amplicons with five prime overhangs complementary to the adjacent region in the plasmid product. This product must include elements necessary for its replication and selection in yeast, including an origin of replication and an oxytrophic selectable marker. Once the amplicons are produced, the products must be digested with restriction enzyme DPN1, which targets methylated DNA with the intention of leaving only the PCR product. Using a commercial PCR cleanup kit, the amplicons are cleaned, removing undesired reagents and byproducts. The clean amplicons are then co-transfected into yeast for assembly. Taking advantage of yeast's homologous recombination ability, the complementary ends of the amplicons are joined to produce a plasmid capable of replicating. Using a selectable media, the cells are plated and single colonies can be grown up and later used to extract the plasmid product. In our lab, we were able to assemble a plasmid capable of knocking out the ADD2 gene in yeast through CRISPR editing producing a red phenotype. To extract this plasmid for further use, a technique called smash and grab is used to isolate all genetic material present in the yeast, including our plasmid product.